Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. And now, once again, the patient zero of coronavirus comedy himself, Tyson James to the Rocks. Sorry, Tyson James to the Rocks. I think we've heard enough jokes about quarantines and epidemics lately. So tonight, I'm going to talk about cats instead. And cats, by the way, in my opinion, should always be kept under quarantine. I don't understand people that let cats outside of the house. It shouldn't even be a question. Would you let your toddler roam around the neighborhood, dodging cars and getting into fights with other unsupervised toddlers? She knows what I mean. So I say, keep them locked up in your house for their entire lives, and while you're at it, pay a stranger to cut out their reproductive organs, just in case they get antsy. It's for the best. If you watch a Christmas comedy from the 80s or 90s, there is a 100% chance you're going to see a cat get electrocuted or set on fire, and no one in the movie will give a shit about it. Why is that supposed to be funny? A lot of comedians have some shtick about how cats suck because they don't really care about humans. That's bullshit. If every cat you've ever met didn't like you, maybe you're the asshole. They're excellent judges of character. My cats love me. Okay, maybe they're addicted to deep tissue massages and Maybe I've got that disease. Not that disease. I'm talking about toxoplasmosis. Makes you cuckoo for kitty cats. Look it up if you don't believe me. That's possible. So what? You think your relationship isn't transactional on some level? You think your dog isn't using you? Or your children? There's a guy doing stand-up in Ottawa who tells a joke about raping a cat to death. Actually, Is he here tonight? I don't want to go too hard on him if he isn't here. He isn't? Okay, good. So there's this douchebag hack, JK. There's a fine young man who tells this fun little joke about raping a cat to death. Now this is clearly somebody who has had very limited exposure to actual cats. He talks about cats the way the 40-year-old virgin talks about breasts. He talks about cats the way Jared Kushner talks about pandemics. Sorry. I mean, just anatomically. There's no way you can have sex with a cat. Even if you had the smallest human penis in the world. Which, if you're angry enough to tell a joke like that, maybe you do. Cats are straight up delightful. Did you know that cats do impressions? It's true. They do impressions of birds, and they're terrible at it. They make this uh, weird clacking noise, trying to attract birds, and it never works. But they keep trying. You know what's more entertaining than watching Tiger King? Pet cats. Don't believe me? Here's a recent scene from The Kitchen. If you're forced to shelter in place, but you have cats, they'll provide you with endless hours of entertainment. They're hilarious miniature tigers that you can have living with you in your home. And it's legal. And the miniature versions are way better than the full-size tigers, for obvious reasons. Sure, you might get scratched from time to time, but you'll never have to shoot your house cat in the face to make it let go of your foot. You won't need a small army of meth-addicted ex-cons to help change the kitty litter. (laughs) And by the way, isn't it considerate of them to poop in a box like that? Bury it and everything? So thoughtful. So here's a cheers to our feline friends. Now, let's go see if we can find the feather stick. Get ready to...